All right, everyone, I am back. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the ammonia-free wave or the ammonia-free perm. Now this perm series has a wider pH range. They have a pH range of 7.0 to 9.6. So your ammonia-free waves um, use a different ingredient. Ammonia, when you apply it to the hair, evaporates out as a gas, and that's what gives it that unpleasant odor. So one of the advantages of using an ammonia-free perm is you do not have that ammonia odor. However, two things. Because it is ammonia-free does not mean that it is damage-free. You can still damage hair with this if you use the wrong type of ammonia-free perm or use it too high of a pH. The other thing is that you still have the smell of a thioglycolic acid in there, which is a strong egg smell, so it may smell pretty sulfury. In my own opinion, the um, this is Quantum Insight. I've used this and I like it. I've had good results, but the odor is pretty strong. What they use instead for the ammonia-free perm is MEA, monoethylolamine, or AMP, amino ethylpropylene. It's usually MEA they use, um, so it doesn't evaporate from the hair as readily as ammonia. You don't get that ammonia odor. There is still some debate because some types of MEA get trapped in the hair and they build up. So the more you use it, the more damaging it is. That may be one risk. Um, what else? Some of the advantages of ammonia-free is because there's such a range of pH, you can do with different ones. Uh, with Quantum Insight, there's different types, and this one is for um, normal hair, and it uses low thio. In my own opinion, it still smells. You could even use the other brands. Like I know Paul Mitchell has a brand um, of waves. They have an acid wave, they have an exothermic, and they have an alkaline wave that are all ammonia and thio-free together. So that's why they kind of overlap. But ammonia-free waves, Let's see, I have my perm notes and I'll post a link to the perm chart. The benefit of the ammonia free wave is they process at room temperature. They could be used on porous to normal hair and they produce medium to fine curls. So it's a little less tight than the cold wave depending on what type you use. If you're using one for color treated hair, chances are the waves are gonna be a little bit more loose instead of really, really tight curly. And your ammonia free waves have no unpleasant ammonia odor as an advantage. And one um, disadvantage that they state is that the strength varies by manufacturers. I don't know personally off the top of my head what the pH of this is. Um, because it is for normal hair, I'm assuming it's kind of closer to 9, it's higher up there. So when in doubt, really call your manufacturer or email them directly. A lot of them are on social media now, so any rep can get right back to you. And you really want to look up their MSDS because that will tell you your pH. And your ammonia-free perm generally, with the exception of brands that, like Paul Mitchell that make a line that's ammonia and thio-free, it's two components, it's a waving lotion and a neutralizer. Uh, some of them you may have to add one to one and just give it a little tumble. So that is about it. So ammonia-free perms, they smell a lot less stinky than normal perms, but you still have that thio odor, and they are normally for clients, you can use them on older clients if you want less odor and you want somewhat of a nicer curl. You can use them on color-treated hair if it's a proper pH, um, and even lightened hair. Really get to know your brands. Joyco also has a really good one too. It's another good professional brand. And they process room temperature, you don't need to add heat. So that is it for ammonia-free perms. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Like, comment, subscribe, and in the next video, I'll be discussing thio-free perms.